on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Gabriel Jesus. He's always going to be a massive threat, Peter. And that's primarily because his movement off the ball is so effective. Even if he doesn't end up touching the ball, he usually plays a part in his team's attacking plays because he's dragged people out of position. And that can be an obvious help to those around him. He's uh, full of enthusiasm. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. There's the whistle, and here we go. Mares, Kyle Walker. Pinged forward. He's left his man. Armstrong provides an outlet. Yep, it's a corner. And it's hoisted clear. Foden plays it forward. And it's Mares. Hoists it high. Stevens does well there. Alert. McQueen. Tries to locate someone up front. Stones gets into the right position to intercept. Mares. And here's Gabriel. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Gabriel Jesus. Redmond. Redmond plays it forward quickly. Quick thinking by the keeper, he did well. And that's been one straight back. Oh, real danger here! And he's straight offside. Fraser Forster gets it upfield. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. It makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. Good idea, just poorly executed. He goes long. Gabriel Jesus, Gabriel Je He's gone for it! This could fall anywhere! Foden. What a ball that hits one! Stones. He's got options out wide. Adams absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, your striker should be the first line on that defence and, and he's delivering. Ruben Diaz positions himself well and cuts it out. Hoists it forward. 
It's a great... Shapes to shoot! Goal! City! The breakthrough strike! Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. So we have our breakthrough. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. And here's Morris. Gabriel Jesus! Big relief. It just needed better contact. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? McQueen. Armstrong. He looks to get on the end of this. Foden. Uh, needed a better pass there. And that'll be the last act of the first half. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Manchester City come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. And we're already back on the way here. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. Mares chooses to go back. Hernandez loses his balance and loses the ball. And he certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. Manchester City looking to widen the gap even further here. De Bruyne with a real chance here. De Bruyne! The message is clear, none shall pass. Gabriel Jesus. Beautifully done. Stevens simply had to make that count, and he did it with some authority too. Wonderful. Lobs it in gently. He could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only he'll try from distance. Gave it a go, but off target. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot, and it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. That will annoy the manager, they're making themselves too predictable here. João Cancelo needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, the idea was right, the delivery wasn't, they can revisit that further on. De Bruyne. And here's Gabriel. And the shot! Good hit, kept the keeper honest. So here comes the substitution. Played it short. Looking for a decent ball in. Towering header! Oh, great save, real class. Mares really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Now the counter. 
and back to base. Mahrez is being kicked on here. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a closer nature. Sturt. 1-0 as we head towards the end. Xiao Cancelo. Manchester City are looking to Gabriel Jesus with the foul. has got good distance on that. And it's Walcott. Rodri. Manchester City certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. Here's Sterling, quick glance at goal, and with that, the final whistle. Manchester City hold on, it's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment, 1-0 the score at the final whistle. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, Peter, I'm sure a more comfortable margin would have been preferable, but you can expect to get your...